Yo guys, welcome back to the Coventry Crusade. Last time we played, we lost 3 0 to Man United. A little bit of a shame, but couldn't help it. This time, we are going to do the last game of the season and do a squad review, really. But since then, we've played four games. We lost heavily to Villa. I rotated the team quite a bit. But we still got two goals, and they just run away with it. Fair play to them. After that, we drew 1-1 with Tottenham, which was a very good game. It took a penalty in the 83rd minute for them to even get the points. We were in the lead, and we just couldn't hold on. And after them, we moved on to a 4-0 loss against Everton. We just could not get going. Our defence just decided not to turn up. Well, Fabio certainly didn't. And they just held up really well. Their defence were the best players. Cameron McCullen, or McCulloch, was their best player. He's a centre-back, and he scored two goals. Both of them from free kicks. He's like, wow, okay. Because I'm going to be looking to strengthen our defence next year, I'm going to start scouting him properly and see if we can get him in on loan if he doesn't go anywhere else. After them, we then went and played Leicester, which was a bizarre game. We went 7 1 at 7 1. Seagull with a hat trick, Gennaro with two, and two for Murphy. It's just like, what happened here? I didn't really know what was going on. Once the first one went in, I was thinking, oh, okay. Then a minute later, the next one went in. And seven minutes later, another one went in. It's like, what, 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 what? <laughs> We've never played this well. And we just absolutely run away with that. I don't know what the hell happened. So we're going to get straight into the game against West Ham and we'll get right into a squad report. So let's look at this. Tornado's playing now. I don't care. No. Christy coming out. You're not playing at all. Go down there, I don't care where you go, just not in our first team picture. Okay, just go with that team and see what we can do. I'm not overly fast, we sitting 10th in the table, we're 10th or 7th, and if we lose we can drop down to about 14th, but if we win or draw we'll stay around about the same area, so it's not overly fussing in terms of where we finish, we're staying up, and it's just to me how much money we get from um, position which at this point is no big deal to us we've just gained 80 million for just being in the premiership for a year but that's not nothing bad so really in terms of the team I know exactly where I want to strengthen it's going to be the whole defence I've got some very good youngsters but they're not ready for the whole first team football for the whole season yet and the bit, another big problem we're going to have is how do we replace Granero because he won't re-sign for us next year either as he won't resign alone because his parent team don't want to let him go and trying to sign him permanently we could get a deal sorted in terms of a fee because of his contract um, release clause but in terms of him wanting to sign for us on full time contract it's a no because he wants to play Champions League which is fair play he's, he's by far good enough to play in the Champions League as they just scored a goal, they whipped in from a corner and we're not that fussed about it really, we're just going to keep chatting. And yeah, we're not playing that well at the minute. Yeah, that 7-1 win, I'm surprised really, that's sort of a shock result of the season. But yeah, in terms of how do we replace a 69, not 69, where did I get 69 from? Um, it's a 6.9 million release fee. Which in a couple of episodes I tried to activate or did activate and he wouldn't come to us. But yeah, in terms of the squad, I'm quite happy with the core of the team. It's just like improving the quality of the team. Like we've got the quality players. The right back position is a pain because I've not, not been able to find anyone who can who's been able to do it justice. Like we have players that come in, do well for about four or five games and whatever reason they decide to have 10 games of being shit and it happened about with four or five different players through numerous seasons and down then he's just rifled and shot from the edge of the box and that play good goal but yeah it's one of those where we want to play um, players in that position first time volley as well and cook I want to get a decent like a first team goalkeeper as well who's cooked them really well this season but I reckon we're going to have to improve on him for next season to increase where we're going 
he's very good. I'm not. I'm, I'll have a look at. We'll go through the team after this. I'll show you some of the youngsters we got. We can bring in and hopefully be able to get in the first team who look really decent as well. I'm not saying that we're just taking my time here. Let's make some subs anyway. Panera can come off. Duncan can come on. And if we sell a few players and make some money, I have no idea what my transfer budget is for next year, so I don't know what I've got to spend, what I've got to try and bring work with. There's probably a few players who want to leave who haven't had as much football as they wanted. Um, Carl um, Carlisle will be going. Hopefully we can get like Tornado back. He's actually quite decent for us. But we'll go for the team after this anyway. As we're only six minutes into the video, I'll cut a little bit of this out anyway. But in terms of the league, oh, wrong one, league table, where we, where's this leaving us at the minute? Um, 13th at the moment, if we lose, oh we are 2-0 down, so we're probably like, we are going to lose it, they've got 30 seconds left. Yeah, we finish on what, probably going to be about 13th, and this time it's disappointing, oh well, not that fast, yeah we finish in 13th, 47 points. Um, very happy with that really, not expected to stay up at the start of the season, but to be able to do that is like wow. We get 15 million for finishing there, so that's really good. So let's have a quick look at the league table first and we'll go for the squad. In terms of that season preview, we're expected to finish, we're dead bottom at one point, but 19th. And we finished in 13th, so very happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. So in terms of the stages, who Arsenal won the league by a little bit. United, Tottenham, Chelsea met the top four. And Stoke, City and West Ham look like they're getting the European spots. I'm assuming that's because of um, the FA Cup. Because I don't know who's won that or even in it. We finished just behind Liverpool, Ipswich, where is Swansea? They finished, we finished higher than Swansea, saying they were on a flyer at the start of the season. Everton down there, Burnley, Bournemouth... West Brom, all go down. Do we know who's coming up? Well, we're at it. Playoff final. We'll have a look at that after. League table. Brentford are coming straight back up because they went down. Watford. And see if a Wolves, Middlesbrough, Cardiff, or Derby. So, very good round set of teams there. Oxford, Huddersfield, Boot Huddersfield are going down to the League One. Sheffield United are going down. And what's happening? The divisions below that as well. Let's have a quick. And while we're here, Bristol and Luton get promoted. Well, fair play to Luton, they're doing well. Preston, Wigan, Burton, Charlton are all um, in the playoffs, so we've had a very good year. In terms of our finances, we've got 74 million in the bank. What a year this has been! Same, <laughs> you see our steady incline of what's happened this season. So that's when we got promoted into the Premiership, and that has been the trajectory of our finances so it's just mad that it's just gone that way um like and like we still got um debts and loans what do you mean just pay it off we got half a much in the bank that's 74 million in the bank just pay off three million of that and it's done which is the point i was actually looking at facilities and uh, there's an option to buy the stadium a year ago and it was it's just vanished. So hopefully we can get that in a few years because we don't actually own it. I didn't realise that. That we rent it, which is a little bit strange. I thought Coventry actually own their stadium. But okay, we're gonna try and I'm gonna see if we can get them to buy it because it's a good stadium. It's 32,000 seater is very good. Um, owned by private whoever that is. Um Condition is good, and we had to put in under soil heating for this year. It's got grass synthetic mix, uh, pitch is perfect, and we've got impressive training, great youth facilities. I'm very happy with what we've got here facility wise. We can definitely improve it, and now we've got the money in the bank, we certainly can improve it. So, if we look at the squad, let's go for what's average rating there. Um, don't mind Haynes, he's played three games but top of that list has got to be Ganera 28 goals 12 assists in 44 games he was absolutely amazing this year 
and he is by far Champions League quality striker or at least European football quality he is it says Penelope will be one of the best he is the best player at the club at the minute and I'm absolutely gutted we cannot get him back if you look he's got a, okay he signed a new contract then he's got a 25 million release fee now but let's see if we can loan him give him a chance in the first team really disappointing not to be able to get him back I'm gonna have to find someone to replace those goals because that's what's kept us up then is Murphy he's done really well in his first year he got he didn't start the season very well but he came in got him in the front of Wagstaff who who only played about half the amount of games but was doing really well at the start of the year and he tailed off so Murphy came in did well when he tailed off Wagstaff came in did well they sort of been bouncing back and forth between them that position and um, next on this is another player who came in this year Danny Bronskill who is our ex youth can we play we sold him for 600k up to 1.3 but we brought him back with his buyback fee he's got seven assists two goals and he looks amazing he's definitely going to be a key player for us from now from the now on from now on he's just amazing and he's learning that position slowly but he's getting it and yeah very happy with him and i'm going to try his tie his contract down as well uh, Gale's done well what's his promise he wants a new contract um, he's valued at 9.25 million and he's a very good player the Burundi Burundi uh, international and six goal six assists three goals very good from him in 40 games he's done really well um, Britain Cup came in this year as well did really well he got a couple of goals as well Vlad is only played a few, not fussed about him. Cook was who I was going to look at. Looks quite decent, but I wouldn't say he's a Premiership goalkeeper. Current ability division, League One sides. So, yeah, we're going to have to look at signing a goalkeeper to take over from him. We've got, um, where is he? Where is he? Where's Rennie? Rennie, he looks like he can be an excellent player, but I just don't feel he's. What just there yet to become that Premiership starter? And the minute he still says League One, if we can get a good player in or a good goalkeeper, solid goalkeeper, looking maybe someone with a bit more experience, get him in, get him tutoring Rennie as well, get him like pub football and improve him quickly. We could have a good goalkeeper on our hands there. After them, Grig wants to leave because he's not playing as much. He's only had 13 games, 15 on the, off the bench. Not done a great deal, but he wants to leave. He's requested to leave. He's a good player, but um, to stay up, I don't feel he's going to be the one to do it and to lead our line. Um, Keane wants a new contract. But again, I might look to move both of them on. They've done really well to get us here, but I feel we're going to need a big star striker to keep us up someone who's going to grab us 28 goals a season and I don't feel Rick and Keen are excellent players if you've got a lower save get him in but premiership level I think they're just like lower league lower premiership players like they did well for us this year to keep us up but to push us on I don't feel they're that player um, Vickers did okay he had 29 mistakes for a defender, which is disappointing. And a lot of them were on goals. A couple of penalties as well. Seager did okay when he was in. Again, he's not um, going to push us on and be that top level striker. Dunn has hardly played due to an injury. So we've got some players here like Keane. Keane's valued at 6. Grigg is valued at 8.25. So that's what? 8. 14 million there. Seager maybe leaves another that's 20 million for those three if we get their values done we might stay I don't know yet he's a good backup he just wants a new contract and then Tornado who and Tornado or whatever his name was good youngster once I sort of started playing him in the right back role other than like his crossing and dribbling but I don't ask him to do that much in that position He's very good, his marking good, his tackling's okay, his heading's good. Determination, he's got the acceleration to go up and down the line. 
yeah, he could be a good player to go there, but I've got a few my eyes on a few players already for that position. If we get him back in for a loan, all good. Don't actually know what his contract is. He's got a, a 17 million release fee. But we'll see about that. I might get him back in. Rene, we've already gone through. I'm actually going to change his name. I don't like the name Rene. Um, we can trigger an extension in his contract because he's got a three year option extension by us. Which actually I'm going to do. Get him tied down. He's not going to go anywhere then. Um, so then let's just get rid of that. Um, he's Jack Ren to me now. I was getting fed up with saying Rennie. So he's Ren. I still haven't thought of a nickname for Adrian yet. <laughs> O'Connell came in did well. Not as good. He was just a good solid play. He wasn't the best in the world, but he helped solidify our defence at times. He's not the quickest, but he did a good job. And he's got 6.8. 86, so quite happy with him. If he can have a couple more years here and we move him on, even better. Then we've got Adrian, who did quite well. Player for the future, might get him out on loan next year. Give him that first team football he needs. Um, Jack Robinson did okay when he came in. Again, quite a good player. Looking for left back, Thomas Dopper. Young Austrian, who looks okay. Get him first team football next year out on loan. Fabio did okay as well when he came in. Just that experience, really, just to help us out. And he's done a good job at it. Then we've got Cruz, 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 who's wanted by Leeds and well, a few teams, on all on transfers, but they're not getting him, which is the point. I'll do that now. Let's get rid of that, because I don't want to see it. Let's see what he says to that. Finalise. Negotiate contract. What's he currently on? Fine, I'll give you the seven, but... You're not having that, you're not having that. And you're going to get a three year extension. Or give him whatever wage he wants because it's less than 10 grand. And if we can get that optional extension in, I'll be a happy bunny. Okay, you keep it at three years, but you can have a three year optional extension. Normally you can just keep going, yes, yes, fine, whatever, and keep bringing it in, and eventually they will accept it if you give them their wage. He's asking for. Um, Christie's going out, going. He just was doing my head in this season. Turnbull didn't play, and Fulton didn't play. Effectively, that's the bulk of the team. And yeah, we got some players we want to improve on. We got Gennaro. We're going to have to find someone to replace those goals. And mistakes-wise, Gale bring court midfielders. Um, left back, right back. back. Effectively, we've got to rebuild our defence and find a really good striker to increase ourselves for next year. In terms of our youth team, we've got quite a few players in here we can get rid of. We've got one, two, three, four, five out on loan. All these players are brought in um, during the year through um, deals. A couple of Egyptians, a Korean, a Japanese from Japan but they can't get work permits so I just send them straight out on loan get them football hoping they can come into our team but like this guy Kim Wonye he's got a four star potential for our team already he's valued at 2.7 million Rohita Ta Takashima is valued at 4 million he's not even playing for us he's annoying he looks exceptional he's on loan at Malmo mate. Kim Wonye looks exceptional but he just can't get him a work permit but we'll try and um, can we offer for him as well? Yes, we'll do those now while we're here. Clever's still here. Can be good if we can get a good season out on loan. Still trying for Okawano, but he's not playing for their first team. I might just sell him. But we've got some good youngsters in the team who are definitely going to be our future, I reckon. Like Ahem Ashur, really good Egyptian centre back. If he can get a work permit, even better. He looks amazing for a striker, Egyptian. Again, he can play the roles I want, deep line forward, he, he's strong, he can finish. He's got good all round stats and definitely a player I want to try and get in. And um, work permit decision 18th next day. So guys, if you've enjoyed the series, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna go now and try and work out who to buy and who's going who's staying and i'll see you next episode for when we take on our second year in the premiership so i'll see you then guys